what's up mother truckers winds blowing in the camera you may not be able to hear me but i'm going to do this intro anyway just in case got the proton series 2 one piece 26.5 big thanks to batflip bp for sending this out to us and this is kind of a cool one this one is going to go around make its trip as you can see on the screen here it's going to go to all kinds of different reviewers we're all going to do our thing with it kind of see what this thing can do durability wise everybody's going to get some swings in with it and then we're going to send it back to John and see what it'll do on the compression tester and what the final analysis will be performance wise from when he got it started to when he gets it finished. He broke it in with about 100 to 150 swings with 52s. And if he did compression test it, I'll put it here. We're hitting this thing with our usual mix of uh, pro ms and BP rockets you're used to seeing. I really have anything else to say other than we're gonna let Mitchell swing as hard as he can for a half round of BP and get this thing going. Oh yeah, and his gloves match that. That felt good. Alright, Will, 300 feet first swing. Uh, 300 case you hit a beat gear, I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Alright, Mother Truckers, your boy back at you. Swing the 2023 Proton Series 2 U-Triple-S-A, as you saw from the intro there. Big thanks to John over at Batfoot BP for getting us this. And be sure and stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see what we got cooked up, something we got going for you guys that we're going to do. Something pretty cool. We're going to get all the content creators that are involved in this uh, extensive review of this bat all involved in a little contest. That's all I'm going to say, so be sure you stay tuned until the end of the video. We are on an open field, and open field BP sucks. There's no way around it. But I will put up uh, some distances here on the screen, just so you can get a gauge on somewhat a distance. So if you see a ball go, you can see uh, kind of how far it went and get an idea of it, because it's really hard to tell. And the infield here is absolutely huge. It's like 130 feet away. So it's really hard to gauge even some distance just based on how big the infield is. We are hitting on about a 75 degree day, and the wind is actually at our backs for once in our lives. It's uh, about a 10 mile an hour breeze for uh, most of the video, as I'm sure you uh, heard in the intro there with the blowing through the mic. And we're hitting our usual mix that we do for the U-Trip reviews, which is BP Rockets and Pro M's. And this bat has about 150 swings on it with 52s before John sent it out to us just to kind of get it loosened up. If this was a bat that I was going to keep and try and get every bit of life out of it that I could, especially if it's something that I knew was going to be really hot and I wanted it to last a long time, that's the best way to break a bat in. I don't care what bat it is. Start it slow with 52s for a couple hundred, maybe even 300 swings, and then start hitting it with some hard stuff. It seems like, to me, the bats last a lot longer and even get better and last longer once they get to that just like ridiculous standpoint of performance too. So it's kind of cool to see that John did this the right way to try to give this thing the best chance to survive. This bat is a 26.5 and it has a half ounce of inload. And I did feel like as a whole, it did swing true to weight. It is a one piece and it has a 12 and three quarter inch barrel and it felt great even for being a one piece i felt like it had a lot of misroom up and down the barrel the sweet spot felt like it took up the whole 12 and three quarter inch barrel and hitting a ball on the screws was almost effortless to do you could just hit them and watch them fly i was very surprised to see the performance of this thing given that it only had 150 swings on it with 52s proton definitely has their one piece game dialed in this bat checked all the boxes that it should when it comes to feel and feedback and all of that stuff. And as I mentioned in the intro, this thing was at 275 on the tester when John got done with it. And here it is at 250 after Mitchell and I got uh, roughly, I'll say 60 to 80 swings on it, probably closer to that 60 mark. And the claims are straight from Proton's website that these start at 275 and get down to 250 and stay there for a long time. And to be 100% honest, I was surprised to see it even passing, let alone at 250 given the performance we were seeing. Mitchell and I only put two rounds a piece on this thing just because we felt like the more swings we were putting on it was only going to be to our benefit to have fun because we, in the two rounds that we took, we got in the content we needed for the video and concluded that this thing was absolute gas and swinging it more was just going to be for our benefit. <laughs> uh, will it stay at 250 as they claim? Stay tuned to the rest of the videos from the other guys to find out. But as far as overall thoughts on this thing, Listen, I'm a sucker for a one-piece bat, so I went into this already slightly biased. 
But I must say that Charles and the gang over at Proton didn't disappoint with this one. This easily could make a conversation for being one of the better performing bats that we have tried since the stamp change. And yes, I know, take the distance with a grain of salt because we do have the wind at our backs. I am well aware. But even that considered, 325 plus with this thing was absolutely no problem at all. The barrel sound and the feedback made you want to live on the sweet spot and the large sweet spot made living on it super easy to do. I even took a few BS swings at some stuff just because I knew that if I could get the barrel on it that it would get places in a hurry and I was right. The weighting on this thing was spot on as well. I felt like I could go line to line with it if I needed to and still get out of the park on command when needed. Combine that with the absolutely silly performance that we got and Proton hit a home run with this thing. No question about it in my opinion. They got themselves a good one. So with all that said, we want to say thanks again to John for the opportunity to get some action in with this thing and considering us and the group of guys that he's got selected for this thing. And don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video for some fun we plan on having with the boys that will all be in the review. So I'll let you check out the rest of the swings here and then we'll cut over to that action. When the bat's so good, the swing doesn't matter. <laughs> Base hit swing. It just went 280 on a fucking line. Like it just seems like it gets from you to second base so fast. Yeah. And this infield's fucking huge. Imagine this at minor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> I like to do the correct shot process there. All right, so as alluded to in the video, I told you to stick around to the end. I thought, heck, if this thing's going around to everybody, what's a good way to make sure that we all go watch everyone's video? I kind of thought to myself, let's do some kind of challenge. So John said, hey, you know what? You gotta do to do the challenge, you come up with what the challenge is. I said, cool, trick shots. So here we are. What could go wrong? You're on the clock, boys. But go check out their videos, see what they got going. And until then, swing hard in case you hit it. Oh. Beep you here, I'll catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs>